boys and girls of grade 2. Welcome back to Science with Miss Teapot. So today, I would like to welcome you into my garden. It's really beautiful. Today, we are going to put plants into categories in different groups. Yes, that's what I mean. Let's group them. When you think of plants and, and you're thinking, oh, how can I group them? Some boys and girls, they would say, oh, oh, Miss Teapot, let's put them by colors. So I'm going to take all my red roses and put them together. All my yellow daisy and put them together. My purple flowers and put them together. You see, they're grouped by colors. Boys and girls, let's think of something else. How can we group them? Oh, Miss Teapot, Miss Teapot. Remember, you spoke about straight and net vein leaves? Let's group them like that. Okay, let's move all our straight vein le leaves plant over here and net vein over here. They're looking pretty good. Two groups. Let's group them by the root. But if we should do that, now I would have to damage all my plants. I would have to take them out, take them out to check the root. No, we are not going to group by the roots. But remember we said straight vein has a special type of root and net vein has a special type of root. So, the same with a straight vein layer together, they all have one type of root. Same with the net vein. Oh, Miss Teapot, let's group them by size. Oh, so let's put the tall plants here, the really tall ones, and the little ones over there. Boys and girls, there is this there, there are two special groups that all plants can go into. But can you help me? It's not by color or by height or by leaves or by roots. No, it's not. These two categories are flowering and non-flowering. What are they? All plants, every plant in the world can be grouped into these two categories. Flowering and non-flowering. What are they? Yes, great job. So, boys and girls, when you hear flowering, flowering, what comes to mind? Oh, Miss Teapot? Miss Teapot? Yes, boys and girls? What is it? Yes, you are smart. You are really, really smart. Flowering means that the plant has flowers. So if flowering means the plant has flowers, then non-flowering, Miss Teapot. Miss Teapot, you know that. If flowering has flowers, then non-flowering has no flowers on them. So all plants, as I said earlier, any part of the world you go, we can put them into these two groups. Flowering, which, yes, they are plants with flowers. And non-flowering are those plants without flowers. So now I'm going to show you some pictures and you're going to see flowering or non-flowering, flowering or non-flowering, flowering, non-flow, non yes, are you ready? I'm getting all excited. Let's look at them. What is that? Yes, boys and girls, it is a flowering plant. What about that one right there? Yes, it is a flowering plant too. 
Can you see that really big mango tree? Mm, it, it's really big. Is it flowering or non-flowering? Yes. You would see those little flowers when the plant is blossoming. So even though you are seeing only fruits, it was once a flower before it turned into a fruit. So the mango tree, it is a flowering plant. Okay, what about this? Great job, non-flowering. And this? Great job, flowering. What about that one? Non-flowering. You did an excellent job, oh my smart boys and girls. So remember that flowering plants have flowers, non-flowering plants no flowers. Yes, boys and girls, it was so much a happy time having you here. So boys and girls, you're going to go outside and look. If mommy or daddy doesn't want you to go, go on the veranda or the step and look out. And you pick out those flowering and unflowering plants around you. Yes, it's a fun activity. I do it all the time. Bye, boys and girls of grade two. Baby Teapot, can you say bye to them? Bye. Bye, boys and girls. Goodbye and see you again next time. Flowering, non-flowering.